And as he goes ahead and continues to upload part number three, or episode number three, hey everyone, get ready to get your minds blown because this is episode four of the Pro Wrestling Rewind. It's a special Monday edition. Monday, Monday. Trying to guy for, ever see the the uh, thing with the people. This Sunday, Sunday. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> I am Johnny VJ Van Diesel alongside Alex Putnam on Skype. And Lockdown was last night live from the uh, Nashville Center. I don't know what... No, it wasn't. I thought it was. No, it wasn't. I was surprised. Of course, uh, Lockdown is every match held inside a steel cage. How did we do? How did the draft start? I will tell you that in a second. Also, tonight, there will be a no DQ, no count out match for uh, the WWE, uh, WWE title as my guy on my shirt, CM Punk, goes one-on-one -on -one with the world's strongest fat ass, Mark, I mean, sorry, world's strongest man, Mark Henry. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to say. I thought it would be fun to say that. Sorry. <laughs> I... <laughs> We, of course, will have your Super Smackdown and your Monday Night Raw recap. I will, of course, go into lockdown with you guys, explain the draft, and, of course, our top five today. One we've never done before, and we thought we'd do it. Top five Hall of Famers of professional wrestling. Perfect list. WrestleMania was about three weeks back. We had the Hall of Fame ceremony that he went to, that my uh, girlfriend went to as well. She had a great time at it. Uh, Alex, I know you did too. Yes. So we'll do. So we'll do Hall of Famers. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get to what happened on Raw and SmackDown. Uh, we, um, we did that the last episode, didn't we? Not this past one. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. This past one had Brock Lesnar knocking out John Cena. And that's pretty much how it started. John Laurinaitis introduced uh, Brock Lesnar out to the scene, and Cena came out afterwards, slapping John Cena. I mean, uh, Brock Lesnar, I mean. Why, John Cena slapped himself in the face? No, but, no, but that would have been pretty damn funny to see, actually. I would have sat there and laughed. <laughs> John Cena slapping Brock Lesnar. And then Lesnar, with the UFC background, taking down Cena and then landing a few punches, one of them screwing up John Cena's lip. It busted his lip wide open. I think that was the first shot. The first shot he hit, yeah. The first shot he hit nailed Cena square in the jaw. And that was actually pretty funny. Exactly. Um... Lesnar, of course, would leave the ring with Laurinaitis, you know, kissing his ass and Otunga kissing both their asses. Um, this, I want to say one thing, let me make one thing clear. He says it's people power. No, what his version of that is, is him abusing power for both shows to screw WWE and drive them straight into the damn ground. That's my opinion. I think you might like my people. Opinion, my opinion is just that could be the case, but if you think about it, he's given everybody that's a heel every opportunity in the world, including what happens to him on Raw. With the, uh, yes, which is live in London, England. Yes! They're going across the pond there, mate. Yes. <laughs> I will never... So that was the worst British in the Australian accent ever. Thank you very much. That was the worst thing for me to ever do. I will never... Actually, I will do it again, but uh, maybe at a later date. Probably later on in the episode. I don't know yet. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, of course, tonight, of course, uh, with a match... Um, well, sorry, last uh, week on Raw, also, Punk had to def uh, defend the title again against Mark Henry... Punk, of course, getting dominated in this match, because obviously you're dealing with the 492-pound fat fuck who 
can win via suffocation if you really, really wanted to. But the match ended uh, with Punk losing via countout. So, of course, that after the DQ win last uh, two weeks ago and the countout win this week, now you see where the WWE title match is in place for this week as a no DQ, no countout. Um, pretty much everything else Raw is normal. Jericho being a dick. Uh, <laughs> if that sums everything up for you guys at, at home. Um, SmackDown was pretty good, though. Oh, something yeah. you forgot to mention. Oh, go ahead. At the end of Raw, when John Cena was facing David Metallica. That was funny. After the match, Brock Lesnar comes through the crowd, takes Cena right in the bleeding hearts. Cena's mangina. Trending worldwide yet again. Again. Then he laid him out to the F5 once again. Yes. The Brock Lesnar is on top once again. Here's the thing. I'm not a huge Brock Lesnar fan. Well, personality-wise, he's an ass. I am a John Cena fan. Not gonna lie. But to see Brock Lesnar hit the F5 yet again, that was awesome. Yes, sir. That was awesome. Super SmackDown was on Sci-Fi and it was a blast from the past. Because it was, I don't know. But it was live this past Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know. It was live this past Tuesday on Sci-Fi. It started out with Lillian Garcia introducing Mean Gene Okerlund. Mean Gene Okerlund. And he introduced Seamus, who made a public apology to... Uh, the WWE Universe and a referee uh, official, well, well, WWE official, Chad Patton, for kicking him in the head two weeks ago on SmackDown after losing, pretty much losing his mind. And all the disrespect and all that uh, good stuff. Laurinaitis comes out. He does it again. He says there's going to be a tag team match. Uh, David, uh, not David, remember. Daniel Bryan will be yes. teaming up yes. with. I'll first kick him through the face later. Don't worry about it. Uh, he'll be teaming up. Who did he team up with? Uh, Brian on SmackDown. I forget. Daniel Bryan teamed up with Alberto Del Rio. That's right. To face Sheamus and Mean Gene Okerlund. The match, it was pretty funny to see. I was very, very amused by it. But at the same time, I knew who was going to win this one. And I was right. The winners, uh, when I checked it last, were the team of Sheamus and me, Gene Oberlin. Um, Heath Slater did a match, teamed up with Tyson Kidd to fight the Usos on SmackDown, with the manager of Heath Slater and Tyson Kidd, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Mick Foley joined the uh, commentators of Josh Graham, Michael Cole, and Booker T on commentary. This is where the funny stuff happens. SmackDown, like TNA, has been losing the tag team division. So to be honest with you, I think it's time for the tag team belts to change hands in the companies. But on a different note, I'll explain it. I pretty much just gave away part of lockdown, I think. But I don't care. The Usos defeated uh, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel after Hart slides in, slides out, and the referee doesn't see a damn thing. Samoan drop, fall away, I should say. I think fall away Samoan drop is the correct uh, terminology to use for the move for the Usos to get the win. Uh, Heath Slater, of course, is being checked on by Jimmy Hart after the match. What happens? Mankind, Mick Foley, hits Mr. Sacco. Yes, and it was awesome. It was awesome. Um, and Jimmy Hart, yeah, he had he had the megaphone. Anyway, uh, one of the matches to start off the night, by the way, was uh, Randy Orton taking on Mark Henry. The match was going pretty well. Henry had a little bit of an advantage until uh, 
uh, Randy hit, I think it was an RKO, I'm not too sure. I gotta re double check that for you guys, and I will tell you in the next episode uh, what really happened that, uh, that night. Kane, all of a sudden you see flames come up in Kane's face on the Titantron. He apparently laid out Cowboy Bob Orton, and Randy, yep, which of course is Randy Orton's uh, father, and next thing you know, Randy Orton runs out the ring. The match ends in a no contest, because uh, there was no clear winner. Referee didn't do any counting, nothing. Um, Randy Orton was on a mad dash looking for his father, finds him laid out, in one of the stairwells that Kane was hiding in. Yeah, Randy should have seen Kane coming, because he did. Lead pipe. See, I told you. I told you. It was Kane in the in the stairway with the lead pipe. I officially win this game a clue. Yes, you did. That was the worst idea, but I, I don't care. I have no idea. <laughs> He's completely oblivious like usual. <laughs> it, it, it's Monday. Ah, uh, yeah, but Kane lays out Randy Orton and says before he leaves, "I always get choked up at family reunions." But no, my fault. I'm always such a sucker for family reunions. I do apologize. That's uh, that he said the second one, and then walked away. Uh, overall, Super SmackDown was pretty awesome. I mean, you had. Uh, pretty good ideas for matches. The Mean Gene Oakland thing with Sheamus and Piper's Pit. Uh, Sorry about that, people. You get phone calls, you take them. This is this is TV, folks. We can't inter uh, do everything here. Um, but Piper's Pit featured Daniel Bryan and AJ. After the slap to the face that Daniel Bryan did to AJ uh, and breaking up with her, Piper wanted answers. Piper got the answers and then got laid out. He got laid out. A slap to the face, dropping Piper. Uh, Brian, of course, you know. Of course, uh, Piper had a little bit of it coming to him, I'll be honest. He mentioned about the uh, the two out of three falls match and how he wanted Sheamus to basically beat him consecutively two times in a row out of the three falls. You only need, you need two to win. That's out of three. Um, now, there has been a rumor, and I'm going to mention this now because if I don't mention it, you know, I was told the first match was going to be a pinfall only. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this is true. First match by pin, second by submission, third is both. I could be wrong when I say that. Yeah, you're wrong. It's just two out of three balls. It's just the main two out of three. Okay, I was told differently. Uh, off a of rumor, but you sometimes just can't believe them. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's weird. Super SmackDown, though, was pretty decent. Raw was okay. Uh, Lauren Ida still has his head up his ass. Um, pretty much. Uh, Mark Henry wants the, wants the title. We'll get it. It's Kevin Martin. Okay, hold on. And uh, everything else, so what more can I say? When we come back, we will go ahead over what happened on lockdown. I will go ahead and also explain the draft as well. Don't go anywhere, guys. We will be right back with the pro wrestling anymore.